In this example, an agricultural company is looking at the land fields it cultivates, for which a majority are planted with wheat. That's all the fields in orange on the map. A little bit more than 100 distinct land fields. So I'm interested in understanding at what maturity stage each field is at, so I can understand where to allocate harvesting resources and where to wait. So for this, I have taken a picture of each distinct field this morning. So I have this 100 pictures, and my colleague Lax has used the OCI vision service to build a custom model that classifies images, recognizing the maturity level they're at. So if a wheat field is at maturity or nearing maturity or not. So here is the model. If I drag a picture in that custom model, the result will be a high probability for too early in this case because the picture shows green wheat. And if I drag a one that is at maturity level, the model will recognize that it's ready for harvest. It's actually fairly easy to design such custom models. You can check out the other separate video that describes exactly how to do this. But what I'm interested uh, right now is to apply that specific custom model to my images. So I'm going to register an OCI vision model in OAC. So I select the connection and here is our custom model, wheat harvesting model one. So let's register it once and for all in OAC so that we can reuse it after that. So here are a few parameters for registering the model, a transit bucket and input and output. So this is just to recognize that this is the right model and we register it and that's it. It exists as part of OAC now. Now we can simply consume that by creating a data flow. So the data flow starts with my image as a source. So my list of image, I have uploaded them into a bucket, an OCI bucket. You can see it in green here. So that's my starting point. I have 100 images in that bucket and I'm going to apply a AI model to these images. And clicking on this shows me all the models that I have registered, including the one that we just registered a minute ago, the custom model for the status, the harvesting status of my wheat fields. So next step is very simple. I just have to provide an input column for the model to run. And this column here is the bucket address. So this is my bucket URL that exists in my data set. And that's it. All I have to do now is to save this so that a result data set gets generated with the output of the model. So we want the confidence information to be set as average. And that's it. We run the model. Just give it a name. This model will pass the information to OCI Vision, will run the model, fetch back the information, create a data set in OAC, and that takes about two minutes or a little less for um, 100 images here. So that ran. And if I go into OAC data sets, I will see my wheat harvesting status data just created right now. So let's open it and let's just check out for each field, each image, what's the confidence level of the status that the model the, the found. So we can see for each image here, it's giving three possible statuses with a level of confidence for each status. So in the first image, it's 75% it's confident that it is ready for harvest. That's really interesting and we got our results right there. But let's go one step further and let's represent this on a map. So let me build a custom object here that simply extracts field ID from the image name. So this is text functions to extract the substrings that make up the field ID. So let's quickly check that we got this right. We can see here the field ID, which is the substring of the file name. So we don't need the file name anymore. Now, let me filter only for records where confidence is higher than 50%. So every image that the model processed or every land field should have only one status or class that is higher than 50%. So I can set this in the filter and indeed I can see now that different field IDs only belong to one class. So now in Oracle Analytics, we can easily make this become a map visualization simply by duplicating the visa and selecting maps, the system will automatically recognize that we're talking about wheat fields and will pull out the right map layer. And here we go. So I have the harvesting status in color here. So orange is, is, is too early, light blue is nearing time, and dark blue is at time for harvesting. So that's uh, about 89 fields that have been processed here. And if I change the probability, obviously the filtering on the results will apply and we'll see more or less fields based on how much confidence we're looking at. So this is really cool because 
starting from my images, I can now see on the map where I should send and allocate resources to operate Harvest. I can even bring the images back into my canvas here <coughs> by using a image visualization. So let's drag the image URL in this visualization. And now, if I only select, for instance, the uh, fields, the land fields that are considered too early, uh, the image that show up indeed are all green. And these are the, all the ones on the northeast of my sort of land. And if I look at the one that are ready for harvest, we can see all the images are at, indeed yellow. <laughs> and, uh, and unlike this, so I can also use the map directly as a filtering object. All I need to do is to turn on the users filter button at the top and then the behavior will be the same as for a table. When I select, it will filter your images at the bottom. So by using the integration of OCI AI services with OAC and a custom model, this demo has shown that it's really quick and really easy for OAC user to get powerful insight and intelligence out of their images directly. Thanks for watching this video.